Recently, I was reading Jeremiah, the eighth chapter. It's a chapter where Jeremiah mourns for his people and grieves for his people. He laments and cries out to God. Today is a day where we do the same thing. Today is September 11th. On September 11, 2001, two planes from Boston, one from Washington, D.C., and one from North Airport were used as instruments of terror. The crashing of those planes began the tragedy of 9-11. Death occurred on those planes. Death occurred as those planes crashed into the Twin Towers, into the Pentagon, and into a field in, in Pennsylvania. Casualties continued to concern even after the pictures of the Twin Towers disappeared from our TV screens. First responders and cleanup crews were sickened from exposure to toxins and they died. People who had escaped the towers had trauma, got sick from exposure to dust and died. Citizens who lived around the towers and around all the crash areas really did struggle. Families, friends, and communities were devastated. Grief was like ash from the many fires that burned. It blinded us, poisoned us, and choked us. Some people, some people and some of us were able to recover some manner of the lives we had before the attack, but many people could not. Today we remember 9-11 not because we want to torture ourselves, because we want to remember those who are still suffering. We want to lament and lift up people who are in pain today. So we ask God today to hear us as we pray for healing, comfort, and mercy for the many wounded by the deadliest terrorist attack on U.S. soil. soil sorry. Together we grieve. Lament is the process of turning to God through the pain, disease, and discomfort that we feel. We are under attack again. Racism against black people in this country has risen. People of color are locked in cages along the border. Our men, women, and children bleed from brutality all over the world. The pain we bear is centuries old, yet our scars and our wounds are fresh. We need to grieve the realization that many will never consider us human or love any part of us. Where do we go? We must go to God with our grief. Together we go to God who is eternal love. We go to God in our many manifestations of brown skin beauty and we ask God to heal us, minister to us. We ask God for holy power to enable us to stand and live and grow. Today we are under attack. This time, our global attacker is the COVID-19 virus. This enemy rides on the very air that we breathe and stalks us all. There are six million deaths in the world. We are doing everything we can to protect ourselves. Six million deaths. We are not sure in the United States actually how many people have died. So we grieve all of those deaths known and unknown. As we shelter in faith, we want to pray to God to help us. Please lament with me. Cry out to God with me as we grieve the loss of the rhythms of our lives. Please, please cry out with me as we face economic hardship. Please cry out with me as we mourn the loss of people to untimely deaths. Please cry out. Intercede 
for lab technicians and nurses and doctors and pastors and EMTs. Cry out with me for funeral personnel, LPNs, aides, and staff working in medical facilities who have been selflessly serving those in need. We cry out to God for help, for courage and healing in this time. Even as we lament, we lift our voices up to God. Lament is a process of returning to God through the pain, disease, and discomfort alike. We are under attack. Join me in praying as we go to God about all the things that afflict our homes, our families, and our communities. Join me in prayer as we go to God about all the things that plague our bodies and our minds during this time. We turn to God just like Jeremiah. We turn to lament and grieve. And just like Jeremiah, we are assured that God would hear our prayers. We must pray through all that faces us. In that way, we will gain strength and courage to go forward. We shall prevail in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you.